Well, how are we going here, YouTube? Did a little dirt work here today with the field cultivator. Tractor going on over yonder there. I don't know if you hear it or not. That's the toolbar and hydrous applicator finishing up in hydrous. So I see I got cardinals flying around my trees there too, but we're not catching them. See my corn planter sitting there and my semi setting out. My other tillage tractor's not in in view. It's sitting over by its fuel barrel. That's the, that's the big STX you hear roaring over there with the 15 liter Cummins in it. So, I just wanted to do a quick shot there. There's my Accurite weather predictor machine dealy. Gives me temperature, barometer, all that good stuff. Wind speed direction, rain gauge. I got it mounted. Few few feet off the ground. I need to get it higher yet. If you could get it over 15, 18 feet off the ground, it's just a lot better deal to set up for readings and all that on wind speed and direction. I guess. There's my favorite, everybody's favorite YouTube kitty, eating grass. Kitty, what are you doing, Mister? Come bug me, aren't you? But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick shot on that. We're a few days away from planting corn here yet. As soon as everything else gets tidied up, just eating supper and stuff. Looks like the is going pretty good right now. So hopefully, you guys will get that done soon. Get tired of listening to it. Back to my cab there. Leave me alone. Come on, kitty. I gotta walk between my legs. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll show you the other end of my accurate weather weather predictor. It's all wireless. The signal's good for about 120 feet, probably. But I'm not quite that far with it because all my kids' toys on the floor. And the other end of it. Hopefully, if it's not falling off. See, here's the other end of it. Gives you your wind speed. Gives you the wind speed, outdoor temp, indoor temp, humidity, in and out, date. I think the date might be wrong. Time. I gotta put the batteries in this thing. Gives you a wind chill reading. There's your pressure. I don't know if it's reading right, but. The rain gauge ain't right either. Rain gauge gets screwed up usually when the wind blows sometimes, I think. You know, so that's what you gotta watch. And then down here across the bottom, it gives you more of a current. Gives you all your record temps. Which is pretty nice. You can set the speed of that. I need to recalibrate my rain gauge too and see gives all the records that I've gotten, you know. Low temp, high temp for basically the last month or whatever. It does yearly ones too. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta get that date corrected, but. See now, if you look here in the smaller, gives you a wind direction, what the average speed for the day was. This over here tells you what the peak wind speed was for the day so and then these two little dots here were the couple previous directions the wind blew out of it's a pretty neat thing yeah it's set for kilometers per hour so my two-year-old was down here playing with it so I'll have to get that straightened out but I'm thinking about buying a new one they've come out with a newer system you know and the newer system's got a lot nicer screen and I think they're a little smarter and then here's my other dealie that goes with my weather. My Midland weather radio. I've got two of those in the house, one down in the basement and one upstairs. One's in my bedroom for emergency purposes and then the other one's downstairs, so. But yeah, that's just, you know, that's something else about me. 
I like watching weather, so and I'm doing this for per request that I offered to somebody. So, Mr. John Deere, that one's for you on the weather deal. And I want to show you something else too, quick in my collection. So, for I'm all fanatic, you might like that. That's what's hanging on my wall. It's not huge, not small, but it's what we got a few years ago on our property. And that there's the other item. That that one's that coyote's old. You don't find him that nice anymore. So just a little more about me. In some other things, you know. I just, earlier today we had problems with my Renani on-demand tankless water heater. Had to pull it out, the burners out, and clean the burners. And we forgot to plug something back in when we tore it apart the other night looking at it. So we had to plug all that back in, check the gas pressures, all that. Always helps to keep the exhaust vents in, cleaned out too. You get bugs and stuff in them, clean it. It's just going to save you a headache down the road. So, but yeah, anything else you guys want to know, be prepared, you know, just ask. Here's my little wisdom for the day. I just had to show that. Do not hump. And it's my other favorite thing. That's what goes into my red paint. But I hope you guys like that. That's all I got for now. I've just been a little laxed on things. Trying to catch up on everybody else's stuff. There's a lot of great content out there. I love what you guys do. Keep doing it because it keeps me from losing my mind sometimes and gives me ideas on what to do and whatnot. So anything else you guys want to know, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. So, And hopefully one of these days I'll get back into the whole live thing. I just, I'll start shooting some videos up every couple of days. It's easier for me to do. But uh, like I said, thanks for everything, you guys. YouTube's a great place. Let's keep growing and pulling, and tractor pulling season starts in a week or so, but I'm not involved with that part yet. It'd be a month or It's over a month yet for us. So, But outside of that, we got a lot of farming coming up, so hopefully I'll start getting some more of that stuff on video for you all. And I got a few small videos I've taken here and there, and I just got to make them public. So anything else you guys want to know? Feel free. Shoot it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let's keep growing. See you all later.